is the underlying kind of emotional thing, the drawing, is it different than you thought it would be, or is it? Oh yeah, it's way more more intense than I thought it was going to be. That because that's yeah. the, that's the real question. Yeah. It's like, yeah. You know, what did it make you feel like? Or how did it make you feel? Like when you I was I was somewhat apprehensive about even coming. Sure. Because it's exposing, right? Well, it's not so much I'm thinking about that. It was more of I'm going to be around a bunch of people that probably aren't comfortable with my lifestyle <laughs> and just felt like it'd be a bull in a china cab. And it wasn't like that. No, it was actually quite pleasant. I mean, uh, yeah. Wow, that's cool. We went home and we were talking about it at home last night. Yeah. Uh, just a... I'm like her. I'm not even sure what we're doing. Have it described with me? Yeah. yeah. Cool. No, no, thanks for, thanks for answering this. It was, uh, um, you know, Avery is doing a write-up, so we're, we're, we went over all these questions, and she was saying, what do, you, what do your subject matter think of the, when they're the drawing? And you guys are here, so it's perfect. You know, and each, I'm sure each, I'm sure each group, or each group of people would feel different, yeah? Yeah. Similar and different. Mm -hmm. um, I got mad that I saw Judy's finger in this one here. Yeah. I don't know if he's... The shadows actually... <clears throat> what happened with this piece is... Um, um, part of the narrative, of course, are, is the white wall. And, and he might even have had a post up that I took out. You know? But it's like, you know, when a man is divorced, he goes and lives, moves into some place, and, and they're depressed, they're not going to put up... This you just, well, you just live in this blank place, yeah. you know? And uh, um, the couch, there's no table, just everything's stripped down. And, and then when the kids come visit, everything's stripped down. But I actually, I, so I had this big, large wall, and, and technically, just as a vision, um, um, I was like, what am I going to do with that big, blank wall? Because I have to make it interesting. So I did exaggerate the shadows. Yeah. And, and obviously, I worked very, very, you know, it could never get this black. Right. This quick, but I pulled. They were they, the shadows were there, but then I pulled them up and see. He casts. Well, you that shadow back there, you would be getting twin shadow. Yeah, from yes. the light. Yeah, you can see the like. It looks like another. Well, I get her from here, and then they're lit from a spot that might be here. You know, so the, there. But he's got almost a halo right now too. Yeah, kind of like the, the halo of an aura over his head. Yeah. And, and everybody just feel free to talk too, because it's not, we're, we're, what are they called? Today's today? not me. Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost are called the uh, Trinity. This is the Trinity. Ah, the snake's name is Trinity. You found that out. Yes. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. And then you got the three, the three, and then we count the dog as the three. It's three You've got the three layers of the, the tray for no reason. And he's just putting out all the threes in this room. This becomes the Trinity room. Ah! Go ahead. That's me. No, no, I like it. That's great. I like it. Uh, well, for one, when, when, when you're um, uh, a, a lot of thought or a medium amount of thought, depending on the show, goes into which piece goes with which piece. This, which piece is the most prominent? You know, when you walk in from that room, this for, for uh, the way they work together. So it's like, I knew these three pieces would be together. And then um, uh, I think the distance in this one shoots you so far out that it really pulls you in the room in a way. And then the landscape here, visually, I'm not really, I will answer the question, I'm not answering yeah. the question. But, um, but the landscape here goes into the, in, to the landscape visually here. You know, Norman's landscape is self-contained. It, it, it only opens up, you know, it only opens up here to the sky. So, um, one of the rules of composition, this is a, a, a is, and there's a million of these composition rules, and, and or rules for realism, right? One rule is that, you, well, one rule is don't center, uh, another rule is like, you know, there's all these rules, 
And so you never, you try never to have even numbers of things. Like if you're setting up a still life, mm -hmm. if you're going to do a still life lax, yeah. you would have one apple, three apples, five apples, but never two or four. Yeah, never say never, but you know, you, two, what happens is things that are even are static. So in a lot of paintings, and, and I, I actually have this in like this lecture that I did, 10 rules for So in a lot of paintings, things are broken into three. Like if you look, there'll be three windows, there'll be three. So the three thing is a compositional, um, it's a, comp a compositional device that makes or, um, you know, there's, in a way there's three, if you disregard this, there's three windows, right? Um, there are three figures. Yeah, three is just, a, it's, it's a, it's a way to make a dynamic composition. Um, and anytime there's an animal, I usually include it, except for uh, the uh, Norman, their dog is so fat. Well, just was funny. And I've done a thing, I've done drawings where one friend had kittens, and kittens don't belong in my, in my dark. Mm -hmm. But in my dark drawings, right? So the kittens became adult cats. So it's a new cat. So, so the Trinity group, but is there a conspiracy? We didn't know. We were just wondering if you planned the Trinity, if that's something you're going No, I don't see that. message that you're sending here. You know what's funny? That there's, there are things that, there are things that uh, uh, happen, even with critiques, where, like, the one, when I did Dinah and, and, and Doyle and the kids, yeah. like, you know, John Greenberg said, he pointed out the kids are lighter, sure. yeah. they see the light, and then they're facing the dark. So, it, it could have been completely an accident. It, it could have been that I'm unconsciously doing stuff. Mm -hmm. So, I, so Norman is not pacifist, folks. He's <laughs> <laughs> pro war. Pro war. Don't, don't get him drunk. No, but it works better. When I lecture, I say I say Norman is an absolute pacifist, and he's horrified with these wars of the ground. Then, like Norman came up to my mom and said. I'm a pacifist. <laughs> I didn't know that. But, that, but I'm, still, I'm keeping with that in my life. And even his patch on his leg is like a three leaf clover from here? Well, that was just there. Sure it was. Okay. It's so, <laughs> always just there. Alright, now here's the fun one the face of the tree. Planned or unplanned? Unplanned. Really? I have the fit. Well, we're going to see the face of the skull. Like I did this album cover? Yeah, yeah that's normal. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of funny. Uh, um, it was for this band Sabotage, so the metal band. And so I did this album cover, and um, um, it, it was images of Sarajevo. So it's Star Royal in the back of Sarajevo. And uh, um, I put in crosses, and then Muslim, um, when they so dies to the symbol. I, I don't know what it, I don't know what it's called. You know, what it is. The man in the star. No, it's really Mark the Great. It's oh. almost like a, almost like a whole pyramid. And then I poured the skull into the, the, the image with the broken windows and stuff. And then the guy, the rock and roll guy that, that I did it for, I painted. He goes, do you put a skull in there? I'm like, absolutely not. Because <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't have wanted that. And it stayed in there. So I can show, I can, I can have the album cover. I'm like, do you see the skull? It's in there. So now we're going to see where. The face of the tree. You want to show it? Well, I think we got another one like sitting here staring. But I think it was like that big e walk. I'm going to cut it right away. Right here. Yeah. So, the, oops, there it is. The eyes, the mouth, the nose, it's right here. And, and as soon as wait, I wait, point wait, it out, we all saw it. See, I see the eyes right here. Where's the eyes? Right here. The eyes. here. Just squint and stare at that spot. The face of Jesus comes right out. Well, it looks more like a bug. Wait, where's the mouth? It looks like a little bit. Oh, uh, this would be eye, eye, nose, no, 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 mouth? Yeah. 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 And the beard. Yeah. That's like a skull. Right. The face of Jesus. No, no. I see. It's yeah. a beard. But it's something. It's definitely yeah. something there. Yeah, it's right in the middle, too. It's right in the middle of nothing. This face just comes out. It can't, can't be at accident. Well, wow. Right? I think it's nice. No, I don't think so. I think it's Katie. No. That's an uncommon.
around you, that's not there when we come to this. That's not there for us. The other question I have about this picture is the ugly ass truck. <laughs> because it looks disproportionate. The wheels look too small, the truck bed looks too uh, not long enough. It just doesn't look like a, I mean, it looks it's like a weird truck. So we weren't sure about the truck either. The, uh, you know, if the, if, if the tires are small, it's probably my drawing mistake. <laughs> you know, it's not really small, and I'm wondering if it was just because. <laughs> you felt the tires were small? Well, I wasn't well, sure. Well, okay. Now that I look at it, it we're it on top where they're black, they could actually be bigger. Yeah, you know? and and see, that's where you lose, we lose the top of the tire. Yeah. 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 Yeah.